Lenny Moore could very well be the most explosive running back to ever play the game of football. He started his career at Penn State University as a two-way player, and this was the era where defensive stats were rarely kept so it is difficult to evaluate his defensive skills, but he was considered to be a star on the defensive side. In fact, when he was drafted, many players were very relieved to learn he would be playing on the offensive side of the ball. In terms of rushing the football, never before had the world of football seen a player like Lenny. At Penn State, he led the nation in rushing and retired with the following school records. All-time leading rusher with 2,380 yards, most 100-yard rushing games with 12, most all-purpose yards with 3,543, and the single-season all-purpose yard record for Penn State with 1,486 yards. While those records at a truly historic football program are impressive, the most impressive feat in his college career was when Lenny Moore outdueled Jim Brown in a head-to-head -head matchup against Syracuse. The NFL needed Lenny, not just because he was a great player and he could truly elevate the sport in the present, but because he helped change the game for the future. Lenny was drafted ninth overall in 1956 by the Baltimore Colts, and he took the league by storm as a hybrid flanker and halfback. In his rookie season, Lenny rushed for 649 yards and 8 touchdowns on 7.5 yards per attempt. In addition to this, he added 102 receiving yards and one touchdown. He was awarded the Rookie of the Year award, was selected to the Pro Bowl, as it was truly the start of something special. In his next five seasons, Lenny Moore took the pass-catching aspect of his game to an entirely different level, as he had at least 40 receptions in each season, and had three seasons over 800 receiving yards, and two seasons with over 900 yards receiving. In those five years, Lenny had 37 receiving touchdowns, as well as 23 rushing touchdowns. In the rushing department, Lenny had two more seasons, averaging at least seven yards per attempt. In this five-year stretch, the Baltimore Colts had tremendous success, winning two NFL championships, and Lenny was a pro bowler and all-pro in four of those seasons. Lenny's running style can only be compared to the greats in history. Only players like Gale Sayers and Barry Sanders can help one to describe Lenny's balance and vision in the open field. Jim Parker once said, he was so smooth, he could lay his feet down and walk on eggs without breaking them, and he would stop on a dime and set the blocker up for you. Carl Tassif stated, as a runner, he had to be one of the most fluid and coordinated. He probably had a sixth sense. Anytime someone got close to him, he just knew how to cut. He was like a symphony on the football field. And Raymond Berry described him as, pound for pound, the best offensive weapon, scoring weapon, that he has ever seen. Everything was looking spectacular until 1962 and 1963, as he began to take over as the team's full-time running back. In 1962, Lenny was dealt with a knee injury and eventually lost his spot due to injury. He caught a case of the fumbles and fans and media really started to question if he could even play football anymore. This got to Lenny, and he decided to take that personally, and in 1964, he had one of the greatest seasons the NFL has ever seen. In 1964, Lenny rushed for 16 touchdowns and had 20 total touchdowns, as he was selected to the Pro Bowl and named First Team All-Pro. He was also named the league's MVP and Comeback Player of the Year. The 20 total touchdowns was an NFL record, which was later broken by Jim Brown, and in this season, Lenny was able to set the NFL record for most consecutive games played while scoring a touchdown with 18, which is still held by Lenny today alongside Ladanian Tomlinson. The most impressive record in Lenny Moore's career has to be that he holds the record for most 50-yard touchdowns by a running back in NFL history with 26 touchdowns. He also is the only player in NFL history with 40 rushing touchdowns and 40 receiving touchdowns. Lenny Moore retired in 1967 with two championships, seven Pro Bowls, five first-team All-Pros, two second-team All-Pros, one MVP, one Comeback Player of the Year, and one Rookie of the Year award. He accumulated 5,174 rushing yards with 63 touchdowns and a longest rush of 79 yards and 6,039 receiving yards with 48 touchdowns and a career-long reception of 82 yards. 
Lenny was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1975 and was selected to the NFL's 50th and 100th anniversary teams. Lenny Moore revolutionized his position with his tremendous pass catching and rushing ability and should be considered the greatest pass catching running back in history. He even has one of the greatest catches in the NFL has ever seen with his diving catch against the Detroit Lions in which the crowd rushed the field directly after the touchdown. Lenny was one of the first players to ever show ankle tape on the outside of his shoes and he was given the nickname Spats for it and many players followed in suit by putting the ankle tape outside of their shoe and socks. While we talk so much about his play and impact on the game in that sense, we must also recognize that Lenny Moore was a black man playing professional football in the 1950s and 1960s. Back then, teams only averaged around six black players per team and Lenny had to overcome tremendous adversity to become the great player that he became. Ollie Matson, a Hall of Fame halfback and Olympic meddling sprinter, once told Lenny, they're going to call you the big N. You're going to hear it all. So don't get yourself all worked up because it's going to happen. Rick Mace of the Baltimore Sun wrote, Moore could travel with his teammates but couldn't always eat in the same restaurant, couldn't always stay in the same hotel, couldn't always fraternize with the team the same way out of the locker room as he had in it. When we look back on these great players, we can't only look at the statistics, but we have to also recognize the adversity they had to face just to be in the position that they got to. Lenny Moore paved the way for pass catching running backs like Roger Craig and Marshall Falk and up to current times with Christian McCaffrey. And the league is better for it. No running back has ever been more of a threat to take the ball to the house than Lenny Moore. And for that, he is the most explosive running back in the history of the NFL. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to comment your thoughts and opinions on Lenny Moore and comment any ideas you have for different players and different things about history you want us to talk about in a future historical video. We put out two historical videos every single week on Saturday and Sunday, as well as putting out daily content Monday through Friday talking about current NFL topics and debates.